If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about social media and how it can make you look like a dumbass. Alright, so after all this time of being single, I came out one day and a, a ray of hope shined down from the heavens. And in that ray of hope, succumbed by light and beauty, it sent me a woman. A woman that I had things in common with. A woman that cared about stuff I care about. A ray of hope. A shining light. A guiding star. You're kind of wonderful, that's what you are. <laughs> so, I decide that it would be cool if I could go ahead and make it official on Facebook, you know. Um, what's the worst that could happen? So I go ahead and I uh, change my status to in relationship. And I put her name and everything and blah, blah. So everybody knows now I'm in a relationship. So as soon as I did that this morning, which was like 4 in the morning, evidently my, my ex-girlfriend has a, a profile on my profile somewhere. On my, she's one of my friends somehow. And she's seen that shit. What she did was she went and she made a profile. She made a, a new profile on Facebook and then she started like trying to get my girlfriend to add her as a friend and then which when it didn't work like all day it didn't work finally she just messaged her and she said you know we're fucking the same dude now I totally get it I totally get it but this is how social media makes people look like dumbasses okay because it was like a uh, just a clusterfuck of ignorance today it was like the internet's brain exploded. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and like I, I put it like this: two people came together and totally fucking cohesive, totally perfect, and out of it came like chaos. So it's like the chaos theory. So she's telling my girlfriend that I, I was I was sleeping with her last night and was doing all this shit. She even had which which freaked me out. She even had like her 16 year old son tell the girl that I came over their house. And, and to me, that is fucked up. First off, you don't put your kids into your craziness. Because I'm thinking like, how would it affect me if I was 16 and my mom said, hey, I'm gonna call this girl, I want you to lie and say so-and-so came over last night. That would mind fuck me. At 16, I'd be like, why am I lying? I, that motherfucker don't even come over here. Like, why would I? So, I don't know. If you wanna raise your kid and have them fucked up in the head, that's you. But um, it was just a bad situation. I'm gonna lay it down like this. Look, look bitches. Look, and niggas too. Bitches and niggas, look. Okay, do I have your attention? Bitches and niggas, pay attention. If you go out with somebody, I don't give a fuck if it's three weeks, I don't give a fuck if it's six months, I don't give a fuck if it's a year, and the motherfucker is done with you. Have some dignity and find something to fucking do. I don't care if you have to take one of those classes where you go and drink wine and paint. I don't care if you have to fucking crochet. Find something to fucking do so you ain't thinking about them. I don't give a fuck what draws you to them. I don't care how much in love you are. Find something to fucking do. Because if a nigga is not trying to fuck with you, all you are doing is making your own emotions weigh heavy on your soul. Make you psycho. It ain't worth that, nigga. It ain't worth going psycho, you know? Don't let it happen to you. And if you that nigga, because I'm, I'm at fault too, don't be a nice nigga. If, if a bitch has done you wrong and, and, and fucking just been trifling and, you, and you're done with her and you, you make it your word be your bond. Don't even be nice. You know what I'm saying? If you need to change your number, change your number. If the bitch lived down the street, put a fucking big fence up. Put a fucking fence. I think I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to put a fence up. A six foot fence so motherfuckers can't be peeking and looking and see what I'm doing. Because this shit is ridiculous. You know? I want my ex to be happy. I don't bother her. I don't inquire about who she's with or what she's doing. I give two Philly fucks. Not regular fucks, but fucks if they came from Philly. And you know how Philly niggas be acting. So it's just like a redundant thing. Um, it just sucks. It just sucks. Because, uh, like, even... I mean, it hurts. I, I know it hurts for people to have to hear shit like this, especially if they're in love with the, the image of the person they was with. 
like the, they remember that feeling they fucked up and now they can't get it back and it's right it's right there they want to get it back so bad but then the person that they used to be with has moved on and is talking to somebody else and is happy and you know I know it hurts but I can't I can't be all Superman so what I'm doing right now is I'm just sharing with you guys my personal life problems, my struggles, so that you guys can take it to an account and say, damn, the mad rapper said, don't do it. And, and you don't do it, and you don't have to worry about this shit. So whether you agree with me or you don't, comment below and let me know. This is the mad rapper, and I'm out. I'm the mad rapper, I speak the truth, I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show.